The group Cancer Support Services helps meet the needs of cancer patients and their families. They're centered around healing and creating better outcomes. Today I got to see how volunteers are finding solutions for these cancer patients. Peggy and Mark Suber are from Macon. Peggy was diagnosed last November with cancer and has been receiving treatment at the Georgia Cancer Center. It's been great, really and truly. I've got the best care you could have, anybody could have ever gotten. Cancer Support Services is a nonprofit organization that provides lodging, transportation, financial assistance, and emotional support to cancer patients. The Subers are staying at their facility while Peggy goes through chemo and radiation. It helped me out a lot because I couldn't afford to drive every day back and forth from Macon. So we stay here Monday through Friday and then uh, go home Saturday and Sunday and come back Monday. Thanks to donors and volunteers, the services are provided at no cost to patients. It's free. You don't need a health care crisis and then a financial crisis. Because you know, some people have been drained of their life savings trying to get treatment. Volunteers are showing their support through cleaning and gardening. It's all a part of United Way's Project Serve Day. This is just a way for us to help brighten their day a little bit and clean, clean the place up, make it look good. It actually looks, looks good to begin with, but uh, it's just a way for us to help a little bit. Volunteers were spread out helping across the CSRA at different locations, but for Aaron McPhee, serving here means a lot. My wife had a brain tumor and uh, many, many years ago was treated down at Augusta University and uh, it's in remission, which is very good. And she went through radiation therapy, but uh, all these places do a phenomenal job for the community. The Subers say they're thankful for the staff and volunteers and encourage others who need help to get it here. I hadn't met anybody that wasn't super nice. I mean, they're all caring. Yeah. That makes a big difference. And what a great place to visit and learn about. Those volunteers are just awesome doing everything they did, helping people like the Subers make their stay just a little warmer. As for Peggy, she does have a couple more leaks left of treatment here, and things are looking good to where she may not need surgery. I've been a fan of CSS for years. It used to be called the Lydia Project, if you're familiar, but since January, Cancer Support Services has provided more than 3,000 patients transportation just to and from treatment around the area. Isn't that something? Think about those numbers. And just this week, they provided lodging to 36 people so they can hold so many. And then once they don't have space, they have hotel partnerships. So that's great. They always need volunteers to donate. Learn more. We have their information on our website. Just head to WRDW.com. Cancer Support Services. Remember that name.